Hi guys, welcome to another video of the week. And this week is something a little bit different. If you're in IT or you work on computers at home and you use CDs and USB drives to help you boot up and maintain Windows and Linux systems, then this video will be quite interesting for you. So if, like me, you're in IT support, I look after a number of companies in the local area, Surrey and South London, and uh, I do various things like repair windows and install new systems, all the normal kind of stuff that we do. This is me up at the ATP Tour Finals at the O2 in London. Um, I'm a Microsoft Certified Engineer, and I still do sort of upgrades quite often from hard drive to SSD, and you can use Minitool to do that. Here's mini tool, and this you can put this on a USB stick. Paragon Partition Manager, same thing. Ultimate Boot CD, I'm sure you've heard of most of these things. Hirons, of course, uh, which gives you a, a kind of mini Windows 10. Uh, Nopix, um, which allows you to access you know file systems, and you can use that to uh, delete files off a Windows system when Windows won't let you do it. Uh, Trinity, uh, Rescue Kit, lots of utilities here. So all of these require um, a USB stick to be created. So you could end up carrying around, you know, five, ten USB sticks. If you haven't got that many, then you find yourself constantly overwriting um, previous USB sticks with different ones. And of course, you've also got the problem of UEFI and Legacy Boot. So if you've, got, if you've come across an old system and you've created a UEFI boot USB stick, then it's not going to work, so you have to reformat it. Could end up with 20 memory sticks that you carry around. I don't think anyone does, but, you know, that is possible. Well, now we have a solution for this. We have Yummy, uh, Yummy or Yumi, from pendrivelinux.com. And this is going to save you an awful lot of time. What you can do with this program is, and I recommend using the XFAT USB. There are three versions of this, UEFI, uh, Legacy, which I've just talked about, and XFAT. Um, this is the one I tend to go for. And what that will allow you to do, it will allow you to put files, ISO images, onto a USB stick that are then bootable. It's a bit like Rufus or media installation creator from Windows. But with Yumi, you can have multiple boot ups on that USB drive. So you could reduce from 20 USB sticks down to one, and then you could duplicate that to the other 19. So they, you would have 20 USB sticks all with the same stuff on it, um, as long as they were big enough to, to keep those things. I'm gonna have as I say, Nopix, Minitool, Paragon, Hirons, and uh, obviously Windows itself. I will need Windows 10. I could have Windows 11 as well. Um, so you're going to need memory sticks that are, you know, a largish sort of size, maybe 32 gigs or whatever you need to fit on. But anyway, this is what it looks like. Once you've created your, uh, your boot stick, uh, you boot up and you get a menu system and it allows you to then choose what kind of thing you want. So we're going to just quickly go ahead and create some of this stuff to show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've launched Yummy XFAT from my desktop here. I've got a copy of it that I've downloaded. It's free and you click I agree to that. And then all you need to do, put in your USB device. And you can see it's labeled Yummy, or Yummy, I think it's actually pronounced. There's my Yummy, and you can choose from a predefined list of installations that you can put on there. There's Nopix, for example. Um, actually, I've got some on here already. If you just go to View or Remove, it will read from my USB drive and show that I've got uh, Zorin Linux, I've got Windows from the Windows ISO that I downloaded from Microsoft's website. Uh, I have Nopix, the new version 9.1. I 
I have my boot repair disc as well, a sort of third party uh, disc full of utilities, and Rescatux. Rescatux is for rescuing Linux installations and Windows installations. And uh, let's add one in here. Let's put Mini Tool onto there. So I'm going to have a look. I don't know actually if Mini Tool is even in this list. You see some of the Linuxes that are here. Obviously, got Red Hat, uh, Ubuntu, and so on. There's my Zorin, which I've got. That's very good. It looks like Windows. Um, there's some antivirus uh, programs as well that you can put onto this system. There's boot repair disks there, which I've got. Uh, G Parted, of course. Uh, Ease Us. Off Crack. Remember that one? If you, it was on higher ends anyway. Rescatux. Trinity. Ultimate Boot CD there. And you got your Windows 11 and 10. I've got the 10 one on there. So Hiram's Boot CD. And try an unlisted ISO. So I'm going to go for that because Mini Tool doesn't seem to be on there. So I'm going to see if I can find my Mini Tool ISO. And there it is 408 megabytes. And then you just hit create, and this will add it to that list. So it's now reading and writing to the USB drive. And there we're done. Okay, so we'll go back in and just have a look. View or remove. I'm going to view, and there's my MT boot. So I'll put a picture up of what that menu looks like now with all these things. So if you just a quick recap on this one 32 gig memory stick, I used Yummy X Fat, downloadable for free, and I installed on it. Linux, uh, Zorin, Windows 10, Nopix 9.1, um, Boot Repair Disk and Rescatux, and an unlisted one called MT Boot, which is Mini Tool Boot. So we should find that we've got those when I boot up uh, my, my laptop. So I've gone ahead and rebooted with my memory stick in a USB slot. And I've hit F12 because it's a Dell, so I've got this one-time boot menu. And I'm going to choose Specific Storage Device 9, and that should boot from my memory stick. Notice that uh, with a Dell, you can change the boot mode setting on the fly. So this will work with um, legacy BIOS and UEFI systems. UEFI is the new kind of BIOS, the more graphical one usually, not always. Um, whereas legacy is the old, you know, AMI BIOS, Phoenix BIOS, all that kind of stuff for old motherboards. Um, I've got it in UEFI with secure boot off uh, in order to boot from this XFAT formatted memory stick. And it's worked. So there's Yummy, UEFI slash BIOS, and there's an, it's been broken into categories, Linux system tools, unlisted, which is where we put mini tool. Um, so it should be in there and Windows installers where I put Windows 10 so I've gone into unlisted and there's my mini tool boot ISO so I should now be able to select that with the cursor keys hit return and that should boot up mini tool and it does so all these installations I've just tested they all work and they boot up as as they're supposed to so all on the one memory stick and I've got, you know, six or seven different things I can boot into. So download Yummy, make a donation to them if you think it's useful, and put all your installations on one memory stick. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another video of the week.